Recent earthquakes we've been seeing, one organization's deciding to make sure everyone's prepared in case of a larger one. Local News 8's Caitlin Lukitas joins us live in Pocatello to explain what the Southeastern Idaho Public Health Department is doing to keep everyone safe. So, Caitlin, if a natural disaster were to hit, where would folks want to go? Well, if the Portneuf Medical Center is all full, right here at Holt Arena is another alternative care center, along with some local schools and churches. But for one county, those resources are scarce. This is the sound of 23 counties discussing how to save your life in an emergency. When the 911 calls continue to come in, we don't have anybody else to send those. That's when we're starting to sink. Bear Lake Emergency Services Coordinator Alan Eborn says Bear Lake County is in a unique situation when it comes to emergency personnel. Being a small community, is they're all volunteer. And, and so when we have an emergency, or if we had an emergency, we're pulling folks out of wherever they may be. Strapped for resources, his main concern is keeping everyone safe until more help arrives. Small communities like ours, we, our philosophy is you're going to have to take care of yourselves for a little while. Southeastern Idaho Public Health Liaison Denise O'Farrell says everyone's working with little resources these days. I've been in this position for 10 years and over the 10 year period the funds have decreased substantially. Today's seminar aims to get everyone on the same page, melding minds to find the best way to keep folks safe and quickly get them the necessary resources. We've called out all our ambulances, all our EMS, all our fire, all our, our law enforcement and we have more calls coming in and we don't have the ability to respond because we don't have anybody. So that way counties can keep their heads above water when a disaster strikes. And O'Farrell says the biggest concern right now is patient tracking. So for example, when Hurricane Katrina hit, many of those people were transported so far away their families had no idea where they were. So, and also uh, O'Farrell says that some of them were even transported here to Idaho and many of them are still here. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Caitlin Lukitas. That is, that is interesting. And today's seminar was part of a five-year plan, which is slated to culminate in 2017, where they'll hold a full-scale disaster exercise.